All right, this is Ken Rosever coming at you live from my porch with my coffee and my hammock, which I won't be using. Um, beautiful day. We're going to talk about Venn diagrams. Um, this concept right here. It's actually a very simple concept, and um, I'm going to go through a bunch of these. So it says indicate the vent Y with a bar over it by shading the appropriate re region. Well. Y is anything in this circle. Venn diagrams are used to um, indicate what is part of a set and what is not part of a set. And if there's more than one set, what's part of both or not part of both. Okay. And um, so when I say Y, I'm thinking about this circle. However, when I see a bar over the top, that is the complement of Y or not Y. So if I am trying to shade the region that is not part of Y, I would have to shade everything that is outside the circle. And that is the result I would get. It's uh, very straightforward. All right, let me hit next. We'll do a bunch of these. All right, this one says indicate the event Y intersect Z complement. Well, we know an intersection between Y and Z is where the two overlap. And that's how you can always find an intersection. If you can figure out where Y is, and you can figure out where Z complement is, or not Z, then you can look for their overlap. So we know Y is everything in that circle. Z is everything in that circle so not Z is everything outside of Z including that and what part of that is also part of Y only this part here okay so let me give you a verbal translation of what this is saying here we want to find the events or the regions in this Venn diagram that are part of Y and remember intersection always is synonymous with and or but union is always synonymous with or so you can interchange that so I'm looking for the region that is uh, part of Y and not part of Z so the region that is part of Y and not part of Z so it's got to be in Y but not in Z and so that leaves me just this little moon shape object here. Okay? Now, along that line of thought, I'm going to give you something you should write down. Um, I'll do it here. If you have A and B, you know A is this circle, B is this circle. You should know, of course, that A intersect B. Sorry, that's supposed to look like an upside down U. A intersect B is this little biscuit in the middle. I call it a biscuit because in carpentry if you uh, want to hold two pieces of wood together um, laterally you slide in a little shape like that into slots and glue it and it holds them together. So that's a biscuit. All right? The union is gonna be now you'll forgive me and not take any offense because we're all adults here but this shape is a to me it looks like a butt print you get out of the pool uh, your bathing suits wet you sit on the deck and this is the shape you leave so that is the shape of the union of two events a union B is that butt print and we just discovered that these little half moon no pun intended shapes okay um, can be identified as well. You're in A if you're in here, but you're not in B. So A, but or and, not in B, is that. Over here, you're in B, and you're not in A. So there's that. And if you're out here in this region, you're not in A or B. So there's actually two ways you could write this. You could say, I'm not in A or B, or you could say I'm not in A and I'm not in B. 
Now take a moment and you'll realize why if you're not in A and you're not in B, then you could only be out here. Okay, you can also think of it as here's, let me do a picture of not in A. Here's not A with everything shaded, right? Except for A. Here's not B with everything shaded except for B. And if you laid those two things on top of one another, what would be the area that's shaded in both? It would be the area that is outside. So this is, this whole area out here is simultaneously both this right here, not A and not B, and this right here, which is Wow, I lost my pen, which is not A, well, sorry, which is not A or B, okay? Does that make sense? I hope it does. So you have those options, and pretty much those encompass all the questions they could possibly ask you. So if you write this down and you study it, you shouldn't have to reference it because this isn't one of those things I would allow on the final, but it should be something you can... Um, draw a Venn diagram and you can fill in the labels for each of these regions on your own. And if you can do that you'll have no problem with these questions. And it will really help you out on the word problems if you keep in mind that whenever you see a um, union that means or and whenever you see an intersection let me go here that means and or but. Okay, As a conjunction and and but um, are the same thing. It's just we use but normally when we're gonna f uh, have a a um, a negation in the second part of the conjunction. Like here, a and not b. I could say a and not b, or I could say a but not b. Notice the second part has a negation in it. So sometimes I um, I preview. Uh, uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. When you say but, you know a negation's coming, right? When you're talking to your boss at work and he says, you're doing a good job, and, well, when he says and, you think, oh, he's going to say something else positive, okay? But when he says, or she says, you're doing a good job, but you know something negative is coming. But and and but are still the same kind of conjunction, okay? Um, or is a different kind of conjunction. So, and and but go with intersection, or goes with union, and I am going out. Bye.